Hi, Mike here from Packright, and we get a ton of inquiries on custom foam for Pelican cases, and people are asking, how do I get a nice custom foam look without breaking the bank on custom foam? Well, today I have a great answer for you. It's called Kaizen Foam. It's PE foam laminated in eighth inch layers. Basically, it's as simple as tracing, cutting, peeling the foam out, and you have a great looking insert, very durable, and it will protect your items fantastically. Let me show you how it works. First what you want to do is lay out your parts on the insert. Basically you're just seeing how everything's going to fit and what you want to consider while doing this is maybe your workflow, the size of the parts, and if they can nest or not. Nesting is a great way to save space so you can see we have these wrenches who are opposing each other and then we have this wrench in the middle which uh, saves quite a bit of space as opposed to making them go all the same way. So once you've done that you can take your long nose marker and you can trace around the parts. So what the long nose marker is great for is it has a very thin tip so basically you're staying very accurate to your tracing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trace all this out and then we're going to come back and cut it. So once I have all my parts traced out, I can go ahead back with my knife and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the depth of the knife with each click is a different depth and I'm going to go about half of what the wrench is. So when I go around and I cut, I'm going to cut to the inside of that tracing that I just did before. So once I have the part cut, I'm going to go back with my finger and I'm going to kind of peel back the top layer of foam where I cut. So basically you're going to be estimating the depth of uh, what you cut. That's where the blade depth came into play and where that can be helpful. So I've got this, it's a little shallow and I want it to go a little deeper. So the nice thing is I can go back and I can set my blade a little deeper. And go around. And I can go even deeper. You're going to want to follow the foam with your finger. That's going to ensure a nice even peel. And then you put your wrench in there. And if it's a little bit tight, you can always go back and you can shave off some areas. Uh, so now let's go on to the finger hole tool. I'll show you how that works. So what the finger hole tool is going to do for you is when you heat it up, uh, you can go back and you can melt the foam. And what melting the foam does is it makes a nice little finger hole so you can get your fingers right between the part. So for example, this is in here. So instead of having to try to pry it out, I can just go easily grab the tool like that. Standard Kaizen foam comes in two colors, black and contrast. The contrast is good for inventory control as it's kind of a shadow box effect with the black over white. So now that you've seen how easy it is to customize your Pelican case or tool chest with Kaizen Foam, take a look down in the link in the description and you can take a closer look at the foam. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email us at contactus at thepelicanstore.com. Thanks for watching, guys.